Hey everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek, coming to you from the shop, and today we are taking a look at uh, the new Hangar 9 Fun Scale P47. This is of the Balsa plug and play variety, which means all of the servos come pre installed, which really simplifies your assembly. Uh, because you can get this thing together quite quickly versus your traditional ARF. The airplane can be flown on four cells. Uh, it comes with a propeller specifically for that. You can also fly it on six cells. It does require changing the propeller to a 12.8 uh, versus what is supplied. And we'll show you the performance with both. Uh, but, you know, in terms of the construction of the airframe, this is a total throwback to yesteryear. Uh, takes me back to when I was a kid and you've got slab sides here and that was pretty prevalent back in the day because of just the simplicity of assembling something like that. You're not going to go for extreme scale on this model but it's a really sweet flying airplane. If you're looking to go from you know having flown mostly foam warbirds to a balsa airplane this is a great transition type airplane. Uh, but in terms of the assembly, uh, the model comes out of the box. All of the hardware is pre-installed and it's beautifully covered. Uh, and so it's engineered such that you can bolt it together. They recommend if you're flying it with six cells that you glue uh, everything together. And so that's what I ended up doing because we'll fly four cells and six cells in this video. And so the construction starts out. You start with the wing, you got to feed the wires through appropriately, but you basically just join the wings together. And I used 30 minute epoxy uh, to glue them together. I used tape to kind of protect the areas so that, you know, any excess epoxy that came through, uh, it doesn't mar the covering. And as it comes through, you can actually use alcohol to clean that up uh, as it cures. Uh, and then from there, it's just onto the empennage. Now, the, the vertical and horizontal tails need to kind of be assembled together. So you start out, you slip the horizontal tail in place, and then you slide the vertical tail in place as well. And it all kind of seats it all together. And there are threaded shafts that feed all the way through the fuselage, and then you can access them from the bottom and you tighten them up with some nuts. Uh, and again, I use 30 minute epoxy to glue them together here. And if you are planning to do that, you do need to remove the covering so you get a wood to wood contact. Uh, and then the last item of business is the cowl. They do have a dummy radial engine. I do recommend cutting out around the cylinders. Uh, that's also in the instructions uh, for cooling and stuff like that. You will also need to open up that center hub for the motor. Uh, but that was just glued in place with CA, uh, and then the cowl was screwed into place. Now, the there are four screws that hold the cowl on, and those get accessed from inside the hatch area on the top and from the wing saddle on the bottom. So you will want to put the cowl on before you put the wing on. So otherwise, you know, that was mostly it. There is the fairing on the bottom side of the wing, uh, and so that just gets screwed in place with six screws uh, and so, yeah, together on the bench, it's a really neat looking airplane. Like I mentioned, it's a total throwback to yesteryear, which I personally really like. One other thing, the airplane has retracts pre-installed. Uh, they really work nicely uh, and they've got a nice soft foam tire on there, which do provide some cushion on the landings. Now, in terms of the CG, uh, the airplane is CG'd at the recommended location, which is 85 millimeters as measured from the wing root leading edge aft. Uh, that felt really good to me for the CG uh, and so I kept it there more or less. Uh, for the 4S pack uh, I needed to actually add four ounces and I just taped those onto the battery uh, and that gets pushed all the way forward uh, in through the hatch area. And then for the 6S pack uh, that didn't need to get pushed quite as far forward uh, in the battery area, but uh, again, that's at the same CG location. So, you know, depending on which battery you're using, you're going to need to adjust the location of that battery to suit the CG. Now, in terms of the controls, I'm running low rate on my ailerons, high rate on my elevator and rudder, uh, and those equate to, for the aileron, eight millimeters up and down with no expo at all. For the elevator, 
15 millimeters up and down with 15% expo. And for the rudder, 25 millimeters left to right with 10% expo there. And so those controls felt really good to me in flight. Uh, and so you can adjust according to your flying style that you're looking for. Now the airplane does not have flaps. Uh, it really could benefit from them for the landings uh, because it is pretty slippery bringing it in. I could see that it would really sit in nicely with some flaps. There is the potential to cut the aileron and, and possibly add a flap surface there. I may look at that at some point, but uh, for now, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, flying the airplane, you know, there's something about balsa that it just flies so true, and this airplane really flies fantastically. I didn't know what to expect, uh, and it just locks in extremely true. Uh, and so with four cells, uh, and the wood prop that is supplied, it flies awesome. Uh, it's got great power and speed. You know, rolls really axially. It doesn't require a ton of down elevator in the inverted. Uh, it will almost knife edge. I might need to give myself a bit more rudder to do that. It'll hold it, but it won't hold a steady altitude in it. Uh, but uh, yeah, really impressed. Now with six cells, you change the prop to the APC 128, 8 uh, and it does have the edge on the speed and the vertical performance compared to four cells, but surprisingly enough, it's not hugely different. Uh, and so, um, but what you do get is a tonal difference. Uh, so the wood prop has a much deeper rumble to it. And interestingly enough, it actually has a whistle when you drop the gear down. Uh, whereas with the, the shorter 12.8 prop, um, it, it's spinning up higher RPM and so it's tonally just different and, and interestingly it doesn't have that whistle that does with the the, the wood prop uh, but otherwise you know it flies the same as uh, whether it's six cell or four cell and for me uh, I think I may actually prefer the four cell setup versus the six cell and so yeah let's take this out to the field we'll give you guys two flights uh, the first will be on four cells with the wood prop and the second will be on six cells with the APC 128. Uh, and then we'll come back and wrap this up.
Alright, so there we have the Hangar 9 Fun Scale P47 Balsa plug and play. I really like that direction that things are going. Uh, you know, it saves time in the end. Now, for me, I do like do putting in a little bit of work, but uh, for something like this, it's really convenient to have everything kind of pre-installed for you. The airplane flies awesome. This is not intended to be a super scale model. It's intended to be just a fun sport airplane to go tear up the sky with uh, and so that's it for this video guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to follow along on social media at the rc geek subscribe until next time i'll see you at the field well you uh really enjoy bouncing those jugs don't you <laughs> wow <laughs> just wow i caught the jump that was sweet <laughs> it was pretty awesome